Today we're gonna talk about new Blender add-ons and updates. They vary from UI add-ons and shaders to vegetation assets, lighting, texturing, and so on. First, we have True Sky. If you are tired of looking for the perfect sky high dynamic range images for your scenes, True Sky comes fully loaded to help you create realistic skies completely customizable inside of Blender, as you will have control over the atmosphere, clouds, fog, dust, and haze. It comes with a long list of parameters that you can play around with for adjusting the skies however you need. It also comes with adjustable sky presets with different types of physically accurate and animated clouds that can interact with the sunlight and cast shadows on the ground. There are also volume quality presets available for saving performance if you needed or max it out for the best results. We actually created an entire video dedicated to True Sky add-on and I highly recommend you check that one out. Next we have Sanctus add-on, which is a growing library of currently 160 high-quality procedural materials with adjustable settings, of course. As an example, for the stone tiles floor material, you have the possibility to change their offset, surface, water level, etc. For the weathering tiles material, you can control the amount of cracks, missing pieces, dirtiness, and grunge. Also, they are adding each month new materials to the library where they are organized into different categories in the M panel for quick access. There are also two shaders available in the library, along with some special shaders, such as animated rain effects. They uploaded a video on their YouTube channel explaining everything you need to know about the add-on, if you want to check that out. This is quite a famous one. This clay shader is created by Raul, aka Doublegum which is an ultimate clay shader that was recently made from scratch with the new shader nodes with the release of its latest version. It is now ready to use for Blender 3, with 13 presets accessible via the assets file or via the asset browser. The later master node of the add-on allows you to customize your clay shader in a user-friendly way, giving you so many possibilities. You will have some parameters for the look of the clay, the fingerprints, cracks, stones, mapping, and even animation. And as a bonus, you also get with the add-on a procedural text tool for creating clay style photography with only two nodes, and that works with all the fonts supported by Blender. We also have a new update for the Vegetation add-on. It is an add-on that offers a professional asset library of over 200 realistic, diverse and optimized Vegetation 3D models for Blender that are now updated with a new interface. Also, it got 38 new assets cracking up the total number of assets from 226 to 264 high-quality 3D assets and also the number of possible variations from 751 to 903 unique variations. With that, introducing a new vegetation category called Banzai. They offer now the ability to choose the location of the assets and to append or link these objects from different projects. Next up, we have an update for clean panels which is an add-on that helps to organize your add-ons into groups and categories. This is the case for a cleaner UI and an optimized workflow. We already made a dedicated video for this add-on, and I highly recommend you check that out, because it is very useful and it can help you too. Its latest version came with several bug fixes and updates, including workspace panel reordering, in addition to categories and icons, new icon selection with the search bar, the ability to export or import, custom configuration files, and lastly, auto-saving features. One thing the add-on offers is the ability to open your add-on panels in sticky windows or floating panels to have it open in any position you want on the screen. Next up, we have Turbo Tools. It is an add-on that you need to speed up your render times by many folds. This is the case while keeping image quality, especially for complex scenes. The newest version comes with a temporal stabilizer, which is a new addition to the add-on, which provides per pass temporal stabilization, allowing you to reduce animation render times by up to 40 times. As shown in their presentation video, the results when the stabilizer is turned on are just incredible. How much difference there is between when this feature is on and off is very remarkable. Not only render times are much shorter, but also the shapes and the overall quality is much better. Now talking about cameras, Alt-Tabs camera is a recently released Blender add-on. 
His job is to give physical properties for the default camera, allowing you to accurately calculate light and add different effects and imperfections for more realism. It also allows you to quickly add autofocus, animate the camera by drawing its path, and easily navigate with the camera. Everything in a unified user interface for full control over the camera in only one place. The Anno recreates a real-world camera by featuring multiple glass lenses set up for any of the desired effects. We were often adding these types of effects in the compositor, which requires re-rendering the scene for every modification to check the result, whereas using this add-on, you will get the effect in real time in the viewport. It also features some useful composition guides, markers, full color mode toggle, and more. Now we're going to talk about an add-on that has to do with the Blender interface. This one is called Horizon Panels, and it was recently released by Pixel Ag Studio for helping users intuitively manage their end panels. The developer of this add-on pointed out two issues in the design of Blender's default end panels, which are first, the lack of space, making it difficult to navigate through multiple add-on panels at the same time, and secondly, the fact that the tabs are shown vertically which makes them hard to read. That being said, the add-on features intuitive tab panels arranged horizontally. It gives you the ability to organize your tabs in categories and manage your add-ons in one place without having to open the preferences window. The only limitation you will need to know about is that the horizon tabs are accessible only via mouse clicks, which means they are not clickable in other modes other than object mode and edit mode. Now we're gonna jump to something different. If you don't want to render volumetric fog for hours, there is a better solution that can help you get most of the same results, but with shorter render times. Fog Planes, as the name suggests, is a Blender add-on that features a categorized library of 30 realistic fog planes completed by modifiers, giving them depth and motion effect when moved. They are easily animated using the fog shader node that is integrated into the add-ons panel. By keyframing values such as noise pattern or the fadeout sliders, giving it that desired realistic look. Now, jumping to shading and surfacing, we have this add on that makes it easy to paint your objects directly in the 3D viewport, and it offers a large variety of pre made colors to avoid creating materials each time you need them. In addition to 21 surface types that you can apply to give a surface a specific look in no time. Painting with this add-on is very easy. You just to click some buttons and the objects you want to paint with a bunch of parameters that you can play around with to adjust the way your painting is applied to suit your needs. Also, you can create and add your own colors to the 75 color palettes. This is the case if you want to use them in other projects. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.